Take one. Action. Hey BC Science, this is Rebecca speaking. I'm this year's VP Com. I'm studying physiology going into my third year and I love painting. Hi UBC, my name is Siobhan. I'm the president of the Science Undergrad Society. I'm currently going into my fifth year in the Honors in Biotechnology program. Um, what I love are cars, but again, I'm not a car specialist or a car enthusiast. I just love Camaros because of uh, Transformers and Bumblebee. Awesome, so today we're doing a campus tour of all science buildings. Right now we're at the Exchange Residency. Um, you want to talk a little bit more about Res, Siobhan? Yeah, so I actually live on Res. I'm a, I'm a resident at Rock Commons. As a student that's an upper year residence, it's not always guaranteed. So I urge you to apply as early as possible. Sometimes the application comes out in October, sometimes it comes in November. If you don't apply early enough, you'll get a spot like me in my fifth year. Um, so you don't want to be on the waiting list that long. And res is not the only way. I'm a commuter myself. I go to school all the way from Richmond. And it's a little bit of a travel and a little bit of a bus. But if you go join Collegia first year, you'll meet a lot of great people. Now that we know a little bit more about res and commuter life, let's get started with the tour. We just wanted to make a quick stop here. That's the UBC Aquatic Center behind us. It's free for all students as long as you bring your UBC card. All right team, now we're at the uh, UBC Life Building. This building is home to quite a few things, such as the bike kitchen, the AMS food bank, a theater, and um, some classes here. And also there's food. There's like Subway, Starbucks. But one thing is that those lines are so long. So other things at the life building we have here are the ARC. On top of the ARC we also have the bike kitchen. People that want to come in, maintain their bike, put some air in their tires, you can buy bike locks, bike pumps. Last thing we want to mention about this building is that you have physics classes and physics labs here, but not only here, elsewhere on campus as well, but the majority of them are held here. All right, team, now we're at our next stop. It's at the crossroads between Heb and Hennings. Uh, so on my right here, we have Heb, where you can have lower level physics classes like Physics 101 and Physics 100. The lecture space is huge, so it has the occupancy to hold a lot of students. On our left, we have Hennings. So here we have upper year astronomy and upper year physics classes. So um, if, you're, if you definitely get those specializations, this will be your next home. So now we're at our third stop. It's at the Abdul Lada Science Student Center. Uh, what this building is, is basically a home for you as a science student. Any science student can enter the building, um, but if you're an art, solder, mm, I'm kidding. Of your student fees goes towards this, so of course you're more than welcome to enter. So at this building, what we have here is study spaces, the best water on campus, literally known for the best water on campus. Um, the study spaces you can book as well. There's meeting rooms inside. Completely up to you if you want to use them for group work, for independent work. Um, there's also whiteboards in there too, so you can write down whatever you're thinking. Thus, hosts several events throughout the year. Some flagship events that we hold are uh, Reaction, First Week, um, uh, and smaller events like a Valentine's Day event. So in addition to the events that we run, we also have events and opportunities for students to get involved, uh, such as First Year Committee. Uh, there will be also fall hiring and uh, elections. So if you want to get involved and you want to have more responsibility, check out our Facebook page and check out our Instagram to check out all the different opportunities that we're hiring for. So now we're here at the AMS Nest. It is a building meant for all undergraduate students, uh, including science students, arts, commerce, you name it. So once you enter the building, you'll see a bunch of food places like Pyre Squared, Blue Chip. Um, there's also a restaurant on the top floor called the Gallery. Fun fact, there's the food place the gallery on the fourth floor and then there is the actual art gallery that's on the third floor 
So if you ever have the time, check out those places, come on out. Um, the Blue Chip Cookie is one of the most popular places on campus, and the cookies are amazing. Um, a little bit pricey, but amazing. <laughs> Lastly, this building is so beautiful and amazing and brand new that we've had studios, TV studios, come here to our building, close off the majority of the building, interrupt our study spaces to record um, their music videos or their TV show promos or, or whatever. Um, and yeah, actually, you, we spent time as UBC students to track down who recorded here and then we try to figure out what scenes of their video clip are from UBC. The reason why it's called The Nest is for two reasons. So our, our mascot for UBC is the Thunderbirds. So you know how birds, they lay eggs and they have nests. So that's why um, we call this building our nest. Um, and another reason is that this building has been architecturally designed to actually host an egg inside of the building. So in, on this, in this egg, on, top, on the top of it, which is almost aligned with the fourth floor, there's bean bags, more study spaces, and then the inside is actually a soundproof room where you can practice like audio recordings, dance, or whatever you have in terms of video and visual design. Campus can get a little confusing, and I think I've lost Siobhan, but I can take over. Now at our next stop, we're at the Westbrook Building. It's one of the older bio buildings, and most first-year bio classes, as well as some upper-year level bio labs, are held up in the second floor. I actually remember taking my first midterm here, and I remember the feeling of being super, super nervous um, walking into my exam. So for at home, take a breather. Um, you can do this and know that there's many more years to come. Actually here, we have the microbiology and immunology hub for students and teachers. Teachers. I actually was once a microbiology major. After going through the second year, I decided that it probably wasn't the best fit for me. And the great thing about university is nothing is set in stone. Your journey is unique to you, so you can switch it, your major however you'd like, and you can also take more than four years. For our next stop, we're at the new Biological Sciences building. This was recently built and it, all the facilities are very, very new. A lot of the bio tutorials are held here, and on the second and third floor, there's a lot of study spaces, as well as lab spaces. UBC is pretty well known for its research spaces, and a great way to get started into research is just to start emailing profs. I know as a first year, it can be a little bit scary, uh, but don't get discouraged when you hear a no. I think you can only learn through failure. We're over here at the chemistry building. All the chemistry classes and chemistry labs are held here from year levels one through four. Most of your labs will be online now. Labs can be a little bit hard, especially if they're online. Make sure to reach out to all your classmates online and work together. Next up, we're here at our BD Biodiversity Museum. It's free admission for all students as long as you have your UBC ID card with you. It's probably one of my favorite things to do in my downtime with friends, and there are amazing specimens here at our own museum. Going into first year, I didn't really know how to pick my courses. I kind of picked what worked with my schedule, and I never looked at the location of buildings. So sometimes I'd have class at Orchard Commons, and then my next class in 10 minutes at Westbrook. So a quick way of going from Orchard to Westbrook is to go through the BD Museum. We call it the hypotenuse. Right across the Beatty Museum, we have the Earth, Ocean, and Atmospheric Sciences building. I actually took my staff's course here to fill my degree requirement, so make sure as a first year you have all your courses that you have to take to be promoted into second year. There's also a really cool cafe here called Food with four O's, and it's meant to help students that are on a budget. The cool thing about the cafe is that there are different price ranges. $5 is if you can pay what you can, $10 is normal pricing, and $15 is for if you want to pay it forward. I'm here in front of the ICICS CompSci building. Behind this building, there's actually the main building where a lot of students have their tutorials, but here you can go to office hours. Some of my friends have told me in the building behind us, you can also grab some poke, and there's also the Cube, which is run by CompSci students, and there's actually a Nintendo Switch there where you can relax, play games, and there's also snacks there for you. We're in front of the cairn right now, and all students from all faculties transform this cairn to show support for important movements and matters in the world present today. 
As we wrap up this campus tour in front of the Reconciliation Pole, we'd like to acknowledge that UBC's Vancouver Point Grey campus is on traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Musqueam people. Thank you for coming along for this campus tour, and we hope your first year starts off on the right foot. The bell is a thing? Dumbbells. Wait, you share your audio? Oh, yes, you're right. Okay. Oh, I, I like how I begin last time. Okay. This is what fun. Yeah. Music. Oh, no, I already did it again. Okay. I thought that was cute. Okay, okay, that's good.